Robbie Weeds here. Have a small example of wild violet. Uh, just want to get a nice clear video um, showing the foliage. A heart shaped leaf, very glossy, cuticle, very, very slippery. Um, your normal three way wouldn't even touch this. Maybe curl up the uh, brim of the leaf, but um, either going to need your three way max rate with a spreader sticker or you're going to have to tank mix your three way with a uh, um, a hotter herbicide. I know uh, uh, Carfentrazone, sol uh, Solfentrazone, um, Triclopiura, Clopiralid, all labeled for wild violet. Um, like I said, heart shaped leaf, very glossy. Purple leaf, um, it's not flowering at the, m or purple flower, it's not flowering at the moment, but grows very, very quickly, very uh, strong growth. Uh, rhizomes, doesn't grow from one spot. Um, the root system uh, spreads very quickly and very in depth that's why uh even killing some of the plant um doesn't do much because uh the under uh beneath the surface growth is very very strong and significant so killing some foliage doesn't do much uh it will replenish itself and bounce right back even if you do get some luck killing some of it or even um burning some of the foliage off uh it will pop right back up so you want to make sure your tank mixture is uh, very hot to, one, get it into the, the leaf as uh, the cuticle is very, very thick and waxy, and then two, to make sure the herbicide is going all the way into the root system, because that is the most important uh, thing to get the, or part of the plant, in this case, to get uh, the herbicide into. Um, a lot of times, even uh, perfect timing and the herbicide, you're going to need a second application to really eradicate the entire plant. So. Robbie weeds out.